Good afternoon, this is the Plug Seeker. Welcome to another episode. Now, in today's episode, I'm going to be looking at air conditioning. And more specifically, I'm going to be looking at how does using your aircon for prolonged periods affect the range of your electric vehicle. Now, on social media, I've sometimes seen criticisms of EVs um, suggesting that if you use the aircon, that you might see dramatic drops in the vehicle's range. So let's try and find out. Now, just before we get on to the main video, I'd just like to ask a quick favor. All those who enjoy watching EV content like this, could you just lean forward and press that subscribe button? I really do appreciate all those who subscribe to my channel. And of course, if you click on the notification bell, you'll get an alert every time I upload new EV content. Thanks very much. So on to today's video. Now, I thought the issue of using the aircon was actually quite topical at the moment. Now, where I live in the UK, we are currently going through somewhat of a heat wave. And this isn't just a normal hot summer. We have been hitting temperatures of over 40 degrees for the first time in recorded history. And so this is just one more bit of proof, if any further were needed, that we are in the middle of a climate change crisis. And therefore, it just underlines the importance of trying to switch to more sustainable forms of transport, of which electric vehicles are a small part. So today I'm going to be running a little experiment to see how prolonged use of the air conditioning affects the battery's capacity, and therefore how much this might affect the range of the vehicle. So these are the parameters of today's test. Now, my EV is a Nissan Leaf e Tecna which has a usable battery capacity of 56 kilowatt hours. My Leaf has been sitting on my driveway uh, for the last few hours and inside the cabin temperature has reached a sweltering 34 degrees. The outside temperature is about 26 degrees at present. Now I am going to be running the aircon at full blast um, with the fan going at maximum and the temperature set at the lowest temperature setting, which is 16 degrees. Now, once the aircon is turned on, I'm going to be getting out of the car. I am going to be leaving the aircon at full power and monitoring this over a period of two hours. After that, I'm going to be turning the aircon off and I'm then going to leave the car just turned on in the driveway and monitor what the battery use is when the car is just sitting there at rest. And by looking at those results, I should be able to tell how much extra um, power is being used by the aircon on its own. Obviously by taking away the resting power use um, from the figure with the aircon running. Now, in terms of the monitoring, I'm going to be using the MyLeaf app, which is this app here, um, to monitor the battery percentage and also the internal cabin temperature. And the other app I'll be using will be this one, LeafSpy. And that connects to the car's internal computer. And I'll be using that to uh, give a figure for the kilowatt hours left in the battery and also the battery temperature and the external outside temperature. And I'll be using these two apps to monitor the changes through this little experiment. Now, there are two things really I want to get out of this. Firstly, I want to see that if this car is sitting just at rest, say in a traffic jam, um, just motionless, how much um, of the battery capacity is being used for every hour it's sitting there? So how many kilowatt hours is it using for that? And the second thing I want to figure out is how much extra per hour in terms of kilowatt hours is being used if I have the aircon running at full power. And so hopefully at the end, I'll be able to give you an idea if you're on a long road trip, whether or not you should be worried about using the aircon and whether it's likely to significantly affect your range. Now, it's worth pointing out that normally if I was on a road trip uh, and the cabin temperature in the car was hot, um, when I started, I would usually cool it down to a nice cool temperature while it was still plugged into my home charger. So in effect, I would get it cooled down at the beginning um, without having to use any of the battery. But for the purpose of this test, I'm going to be cooling the cabin temperature from a high of 34 degrees initially um, without it being plugged into the mains. So I'm going to make it as difficult as it can be. So before I get any more roasted than I am, 
let's get things started, shall we? So this is the starting menu on my Nissan Leaf. Now, as you can see in the top right, there is a uh, tab for energy usage. So let's have a look at what the energy usage is at rest. Now, if you look at the bottom right uh, section that says other systems, you can see that my car, while switched on at rest, looks like it's using somewhere around maybe 0.2 kilowatts or about 200 watts. So we'll see how that changes when I turn the aircon on. So this panel here is the climate control in the Nissan Leaf. As you can see, it's all buttons. So first I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the fan up to maximum by pressing this button up. And as you can see, it's up to maximum. Okay, so we can hear the fan is now going. And next I'm going to turn the air come button on. And finally, I'm going to set the temperature to the lowest temperature, which is 16 degrees. I press him down on the blue arrow. And as you can see, it's down to 16 degrees. So the aircon is now on full power. So you can see now, if we go back to the energy usage screen, we can see that the climate control is now using something like I want to say about 0.75 kilowatts or about 750 watts and the other system as well has also gone up a little bit I wonder if that possibly reflects the use of the fan but the other systems have now gone up for about 0.2 kilowatts up to I would say maybe about 0.4 kilowatts or 400 watts so the aircon is on and I can tell you it's already feeling a lot more comfortable in here. So the starting battery percentage is 46% and the battery is currently at 29.8 kilowatt hours. So I'm going to get out now and we're going to start monitoring for the next two hours with the aircon on. And as I said then I'm going to turn the aircon off and we'll follow for a further two hours to see how much energy the car uses when it's just at rest. So, let's see how we get on. Right, so that's two hours with the aircon running at full power and another two hours with the car sitting at rest. And I can tell you it's a much more humane 19 degrees in here now. Now over the course of this four hour test, the battery has gone from 46% down to 40%, from 29.8 kilowatt hours down to 27.1 kilowatt hours. So let's have a look at the data and see what we found out so let's start with the first two hours whilst the aircon was on full power during this time the battery went from 46 percent down to 42 percent so therefore a drop of four percent which equates to 2.1 kilowatt hours so this means that the combined power use of the aircon plus the resting functions of the car was approximately 1050 watts or 1.05 kilowatts. So that means my Nissan Leaf, while sitting at rest with the aircon on, in one hour would use 1.05 kilowatt hours of the battery. 
And bear in mind, as I said before, this car has a battery size of 56 kilowatt hours. During the test, the outside temperature remained pretty much constant at 25 to 26 degrees, and the cabin temperature dropped drastically from 34 down to 20 in just the first 30 minutes, and for the rest of the test remained at 19 degrees. The battery temperature pretty much mimicked the outside temperature and didn't vary much either through the test. And so moving on to the second part of the test, the aircon was now turned off and the car sat for a further two hours on the driveway with just the resting functions of the car turned on. So this would be simulating, for instance, being stuck in a traffic jam. In this resting state, the battery only dropped 2% and used 0.6 kilowatt hours. So this equates to an average power use of 300 watts or 0.3 kilowatts. So that means my Nissan Leaf sitting at rest in one hour would use 0.3 kilowatt hours of the battery. So firstly, looking at the second two hours of the test, where my car was just sitting there at rest, I found that my Nissan Leaf was using about 300 watts or 0.3 kilowatts. So in an hour, it would be using 0.3 kilowatt hours of the battery's capacity. Now, to put that in some perspective, this Nissan Leaf has a 56 kilowatt hour battery. So in an hour, it would be using about 0.5% of the total battery capacity. So therefore, if this car was, say, sitting in a traffic jam doing nothing, it would be using a tiny fraction of the total battery capacity and would not really impact, I don't think, much on range. Now, I can already hear people saying, well, what if you've got the windscreen wipers on? Or what if you've got the radio blasting? OK, well, I didn't do a formal test of that in this little experiment. However, I did turn the uh, wipers on full power and put some music on and looking at the internal energy displays, it went up from about 300 kilowatts up to about 400 kilowatts. So in an hour with those things running, it would probably use about 0.4 kilowatt hours. So yes, it would be an increase, but it would still be only a tiny fraction of the total battery capacity. Now, in terms of how much range you might lose if you were just sitting at rest, well, 0.3 kilowatt hours roughly when it comes to 70 miles per hour motorway travel would roughly mean you'd lose about 0.9 miles so give or take for every hour you're sitting at rest you're losing about one mile of your range which i don't think really is that much okay so now let's dig into the aircon and how that affected the battery which obviously was the main thing i wanted to find out today so in the first two hours of this test we had the aircon running at full power and I got a figure of about one kilowatt of power being used. However, as we discussed earlier, with the car just being at rest, it uses about 0.3 kilowatts. Now, as I said before, this Nissan Leaf has a 56 kilowatt hour usable battery. Therefore, if you were to be running the aircon for an hour, the excess power use would equate to approximately 1.3% of the total battery capacity. Now, in terms of what that means for range, if you're talking about motorway travel at 70 miles per hour, it would roughly estimate to a loss of about 2.1 miles of range. So again, it really isn't that much. Now, obviously, I fully acknowledge that this was just a little experiment and there are many limitations to the test I've done today. Um, obviously, this was a car at rest and I'm extrapolating it to how a car may use its power when it's in motion. Although I think it's probably still a fair estimate. Now, obviously also the car was empty during this test and had it been full of, let's say four passengers, they would all be contributing body heat. And so they might also heat up the cabin temperature and maybe need a little bit more energy to keep it cool. Now, furthermore, it was only 26 degrees outside uh, during most of this test. And whilst that's uh, pretty warm for the UK, obviously there are climates where you may be 36 degrees or 40 degrees or God forbid, even more. And obviously if the outside temperature was even higher, I can foresee that maybe it would take a little bit more power to keep the aircon running. 
However, on the other hand, I wouldn't always use the aircon for an hour or two hours straight. I would sometimes use it intermittently as I needed it. Um, furthermore, I would sometimes not always have it on the full fan. I would maybe just have it on a lower setting uh, and maybe not at the coldest temperature possible. So those are also factors to consider. And also at a lower speed, I might, uh, instead of using the aircon, open the window and let the breeze cool me down. So there are some limitations of this uh, little test I've done today. But what I'd like to think it has shown is two things. That when an EV is at rest, let's say in a, in a standstill in traffic, it uses very little energy at all. And sitting at rest, you really don't have to worry about it being a big drain on the battery. It's really, really minuscule. And uh, I've even turned on the wipers, the lights, other things. It really does not boil down to much um, drain on the battery at all sitting at rest, even if it's for several hours. So that's one uh, useful takeaway message, I think, from today's uh, video. And I think we can also say that in terms of the aircon, although it does make a small difference to the battery percentage and the range, it really is just that, quite a small difference. So I think when you see uh, figures of 20, 30, 40% range loss due to the aircon, I think you have to take that with a, a dose of salt. I think it is far less than that. In today's test, it was something like 1.3%. Now, even allowing for a lot of other factors or even a hotter climate, you're still looking at probably less than 5%. Um, and so I think, again, that is a really useful take home message. And I think we can be more comfortable about using the aircon and knowing that it's only going to have a marginal effect on the range. So that's it for today's little test and for today's video. Please, in the comments below, tell me your experience. Tell me how you've fared on road trips, how you found the aircon has affected your range, um, especially if you live in a lot hotter climate than the UK. I'd be really interested to hearing on your experiences. So please do um, write that in the comments below. Also, if you drive a different EV to me, please tell me how you found it and how it compares to the Nissan Leaf. So that's it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, Please don't forget, as I said before, to subscribe to my channel and to click on the notification bell to get new episodes as soon as I load them. Also, please don't forget to like this video and to share it on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn or whatever social media you use. It really does help out my channel a lot and I really, really do appreciate it. So that's it for me today. This is The Plug Seeker signing out. Happy charging, everyone.